Mid Journey version six is here. And the coolest new feature is that you can do text in your images and it's pretty accurate. So we have a couple of examples here that I've been testing and you can see, I started this morning, very simple prompt. What I like about the alpha is that you, when I'm showing you guys, I can now show you my prompt right next to it and you can see the things I added to it. And notice the difference here. So I have the same prompt, flat 2D cartoon graphic of a man on a motorcycle with the text ride or die isolated on a white background. So it gives us that nice white background and you can see we have a wide variation. As soon as we had S200, which is stylized 200, the image just gets better, right? So we're playing around with our ideas and notice we have some pretty good results. Ride or die, perfectly spelled. This one just says, or die without the ride. So not everyone gets, not every image is perfect. And if we want to grab an image, we just click on it and we can then Rear on the prompt, play around with the image, or just download it if you want to, right? Just right click it and save image. So it's a lot easier to work inside of the dashboard. You just have to get used to it because I'm so used to having my different categories organized in Discord. Hopefully they add that feature because that's important to me. Because right now I just have a massive feed of every image I've ever done. Not useful, whereas I want to separate them by the categories. But what's really cool is I did a second image here with a father and son, best friends for life. And we're going to do a couple of demos because the big problem is, well, what do I do? When I have an image, I've upscaled it, it looks perfect, but it's just not quite spelled right. So I want to show you how you can actually fix the text and take your images, your logos, your t-shirt designs, all that stuff to the next level really easily, because this is the problem. You're going to get a lot of misspellings. Inside of Canva, if you have the pro version, you're going to see this here, Magic Studio. This is what you need, is the Magic Studio element. With Magic Studio, you can actually edit the text inside of an image, and it's really cool. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're going to do a create a design. Uh, I'm going to choose a custom size. Images from uh, Mid Journey, if you leave it at default, are 1024 by 1024 pixels. So I'm going to click Create New Design, and we can upload the image. You can see I just uploaded it, and here we have Rider or Die. I just click on the image. Now, the image will always appear too small at first. You go, I thought they were the same size. They are. Canva just defaults to giving you a smaller version of the image. So I'm just going to make it fit by grabbing, putting in the corner and then grabbing the corner. I don't want to grab the sides. That will do something different. Watch, it messes up. It doesn't give us what we want. I want to grab the corner. Hear that perfect result. Now, here's the magic. There's a bunch of new features that are part of Canva's AI that are the real game changer here. So you click on the image, you're going to click edit photo and you want to see magic studio. This is where everything amazing happens. The most amazing thing here is grab text. It's going to grab any text in the image and make it editable. So we're just going to click on this. And what it's going to do is analyze the text and try to find the matching font, a process that I've taught how to do manually in the past and can sometimes take hours if you try and do it yourself. Look how quickly it's done it. It's picked a font that thinks it's close, in this case, Anton. Now I can just edit the text, get rid of that R, and our problem is solved. Now, I know what you're saying. Jonathan, now the text is in the front, it's on top of the motorcycle, and it's lost some of that distress. And you can add those effects back and do all those other things. However, right now, the process of pushing um, the text back, it's not quite there yet. So I'm going to show you a way to do this. It's not perfect, but this is a way to do it. We're going to take this now and take basically re-adding the same image. So bring to front. And we're going to match it up, okay? And then we're going to do edit photo. And we're going to do magic eraser. So for this image, right, we just want to get rid of the word rider because that's what we've fixed. So if we do a magic erase, okay, I actually touched the helmet. Let's see what it does here. Okay, so not perfect. Um, rather do a crop. Let me see. Um, here, we go. sorry, crop. That's what I meant to do. I can just hit crop for this image. We're in free form, so I can just drag it down to where I want it to be. So basically, now our images should match. I'm gonna hit that. So now I can just take this ride, drag it over, and it looks perfect. So ride or die is now fixed. So 
basically I have the old image on top, uh, the new image on top of the old, right? I just cropped out the area of the text I fixed so the or, or, or die is all done. And that's really that process. You can tweak it around. Obviously, I want to do this quick to get it to you right and show you how to do this process. That's how you fix that text. And that's the easiest way to do this. We never had this ability with Canva plus Mid Journey version six. Everything has just changed. This is going to save you so much money if you're in this field and save you so much time editing images. And we can do another demo. Let's go back to my feed and we'll look at this father and son. You can see there's really a good consistency. These are better because the text is pushed out, but you can see it has text here and text here at the bottom. So you can choose what you want. I like this image the best. I think this is really fun. So I'm going to click on this image. I'm going to upscale it and X out. And here we go. Here's the upscale. It's just so much faster through the website. Notice that when I used to do this through Discord, that would take another entire image generation time. So we're just going to save the image as best friends. Okay, save. We're going to go back to Magic Canva. We're just going to create another new image, 1024 by 1024. And you can watch this from the beginning. Um, hold on. Grab our image, drop it in, okay. Expand it to fit, and again, we're just going to go to Edit Photo, grab text. Now, it, every time Canva does this, it's a little bit different, so it's a question of will it give me two different fonts or merge them into one? This looks amazing, right? Best friends for life. It's actually created, I think, a better version of the text and kind of solved the problem. So I'm really pleased with this. Um, you can just compare it to the original where the font was kind of janky. That was the issue here. There's no spelling problems. But the jump between fonts, and now, I mean, I'm really, <laughs> I really like that. And you can decide if you, and you can see it's got it tilted a little bit. So if you go, I want it to be like best friends for life and fit in a different way you can. Um, you notice I don't like the spacing between the lines. So I'm going to change the spacing and I'm see it's more than one. I knew it. So to me, I want to be closer to here. Yeah. And I'm playing around with this. Um, part of the issue is separation from the background. Like I want the text to be readable. And now I have something that's pretty cool. It matches the original. If you don't like this font, but let me take coach on. I've never used that font for my life. I can jump through and go, no, I want it to appear completely different. Go to League Spartan or Tan Headline. Um, use one of my fonts I use a lot. These are more of a comic book style. They don't really match the image. But you can play around and get something that you really like. Um, no matter, you see there's so many fonts in Canva. It takes ages to load. But now a process that we used to have to like grab one letter and drag in a letter. Hopefully, hopefully like there was a goodie and a baddie and the goodie would replace it. All that stuff is gone. So now this is really the process. So mid-journey from, and again, we're at alpha.midjourney.com to have access to the new version six generation where it has text and then Magic Studio and Canva. Hopefully you're as excited by this new game changer as me. And then just like me, you're now ride or die about these new features.